everyone! In this video, I'm going to be custom painting a design on this really old phone case that I don't use anymore. I'm going to repaint it and give it a transformation. But first, I need some help figuring out what design to paint. I have a special guest in my video today. Let me introduce you to Sunny the Cat. He's going to help me choose a design for my phone case. Now let's go choose the design. The first round is going to be the topic. Sunny wants some treats. The topics are nature, animals, patterns or objects, and food. Now I'm going to lay the cards on the ground and put a treat next to each one. The first one that Sunny eats is the topic. Now I'll just wait for Sunny to come. I really want him to choose either animals or food. Okay, Sunny chose food for the topic. He also ate the rest of the treats, of course. Moving on to the next round, which is the color. I have a bunch of color pencils in all different colors to represent the color of paint that I'm going to use. The color that Sunny chooses is just going to be the main color. I can still use other colors in my painting. I will roll these on the ground and the first one that Sunny sniffs or touches is the color. Pink! Okay, so we have the topic of food and the color pink. Sunny made some good choices. First, I have to prep the case for painting. As you can see, the case is really dirty, so I'm going to clean it with some alcohol wipes. This will remove the bacteria and germs from all those years ago when I was still using it. Once it's clean, I'm going to sand it using this paper sanding block for drawing. I'm sanding off the old paint and creating a rough surface for the new paint to stick on. Oh, and I also forgot to take off the black piece. I'm only going to be painting on the plastic green piece. Look at all of that dust. Good thing I had a piece of paper underneath to catch the particles, and I was also wearing a mask. The case is now sanded, so I'm going to clean it again to get rid of any leftover dust on the case. The case is really dirty. I don't want any of the dust particles to get into my paint, so I'm going to clean it well. The prep work is now done. It's finally time to paint. I will be using acrylic paint. I'm starting off with a white base coat. This is important. We will make sure that the green doesn't show through the colors that I put on top later, and it will also make the colors pop. I will need several coats of this, so I'm just going to wait for each coat to dry before putting on the new one. Here is the final dried base coat. You can still see some green, but it's good enough for the base layer. Next, I'm doing the background color. I'm mixing a light peach color. I'm painting this all over the whole case. Don't forget to paint the edges. Once I was done painting the background, I let it dry and transferred the sketch from my sketchbook using the fake carbon paper method. Then I defined my sketch with a pencil. For the design, I decided to go with a hand holding a watermelon milk carton. When Sunny chose food and pink, I thought of watermelons, but I thought that painting a watermelon would be too boring, so I decided to make it more interesting by turning it into a watermelon milk carton. I also decided to add a hand holding it because I thought it would look too empty with just a milk carton by itself. I'm starting by painting the top half of the milk carton in a light pink color. 
This design is very simple and easy to do, so you can follow along with me if you want. I painted the top of the milk carton a lighter color where the light is hitting it. This adds some dimension to the carton. I painted the right side of the carton a darker color to add some dimension and make it look like the shadows. Now I'm painting the bottom half of the carton white. The two main colors that I'm going to be using in this design are white and pink. I didn't want to make this design very detailed because I don't have small detailed brushes. I'm using the smallest brush I have right now and even this brush feels like it's too big. I painted the straw white to match the bottom half of the milk carton. Now I'm painting the watermelon in a dark pink color. I decided to paint the rind pink instead of green because I don't want the green to stand out too much. The main focus of the design is the milk carton, not the watermelon. I'm painting a simple rectangle label on the side of the milk carton using the same watermelon color. I messed up the first time painting the hand, so I covered it up with new paint. That's the good thing about acrylic paint. You can just cover up the mistakes with some more paint and you can't even notice it anymore. I'm painting this design in a minimal cartoon style. I'm using a monochromatic color scheme throughout the whole design. I mostly use one color, which is pink. Now I'm just fixing the watermelon rind because I thought it looked too messy. I tried to cover it with white paint but it didn't work, so I had to remove everything except the base layer. This is what happens if you don't let the paint dry. Don't do it like me. After that, I repainted the rind. I think it looks a lot better than before. Then I just used the white paint to paint over the spot that I removed. I'm adding a thin white line to the watermelon for the rind part. I'm also adding some highlights on the side. I'll finish up the hand now that the base layer is dry. I'm using a darker color to add shadows to the hand. I decided to keep the hand very simple. As you can see, I only used one color for the shadows and they also left out details like wrinkles and fingernails. I did this because I didn't want the hand to look too detailed and draw attention away from the milk carton. I want the milk carton to be the main focus of the design and the hand should not be too noticeable. I'm also painting a small white detail on the top of the milk carton for finishing touch. I think the background looks too empty, so I'm going to add some white flowers and dots. The flowers were super simple. It's literally just four white dots in a circle. I made a few of these to fill up the space. I'm also adding some pink dots to match the pink milk carton. I messed up on one of the dots, so I had to cover it up with paint again. Once I was done, I just let it dry and erase the pencil marks. Now it's time for the line art. I used a brown colored pencil because I wanted to create a softer look. I would have used a brown fine liner pen, but I didn't have one, so I used this instead and it worked pretty well. Well, in some areas you can see the texture of the colored pencil, which looks kind of rough. I tried my best to get a smooth line, but it just ended up looking like that in some areas. I'm using a colored pencil to outline, define, and add details to the paint. I tried writing watermelon at the top, but it ran out of room, so I had to erase it and rewrite it again. I don't want to mess up again with the milk, so I'm sketching it out first. Then I'm going over my sketch with a colored pencil. I'm almost done with the phone case. I just need to add some finishing touches to the line art and make some lines thicker. Here is the finished design. 
I really like how it turned out. Now I'm just painting a thin layer of Mod Podge to seal in the design and protect it. I'll wait for it to dry. This is what I created using the two prompts that Sunny chose. There are so many possibilities that we can make with food and pink. Comment what your design would be with these prompts. I put the black piece back onto the phone case. Let's see Sunny's reaction. Don't forget to give this video a like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.